Welcome to a family art workshop presented by Wheaton Arts. In this video, we'll, we will be making a flower press and using it to press flowers. The required materials are two 8 inch by 8 inch wooden panels, all hardware and quarter inch measurements, which includes carriage bolts, washers, wing nuts, and nuts, smooth cardboard cut into pieces smaller than 8 by 8 inches, paper, fresh flowers, a drill, two bits, one quarter inch and one a little larger, 80 and 120 grit sandpaper, and a small wrench. Begin by measuring and marking four holes on each corner of the top panel. Stack the panels on top of each other to prepare for drilling. Place a piece of scrap wood under the panels to protect the table surface. Using a quarter inch drill bit, drill through both panels on the corner marks you previously made. Clean up the drill holes with 80 grit sanding blocks. You can also clean up the edges of the panels if they are not smooth. Switch your drill to a larger drill bit, I used 5 16th bit, and drill the holes again to make them slightly larger. Test to see if the carriage bolt fits easily in the drilled holes. Drill the holes of the top panel and wiggle the drill to make the holes a little larger. This will allow the panel to easily slide down the carriage bolts. Next, use a 220 grit sanding block to remove any splinters. Gather the hardware, which includes nuts, wing nuts, washers, and carriage bolts. Assemble the bottom panel first. For that, we will need to insert carriage bolts from the bottom of the panel, then place a washer onto the bolt, followed by a nut. Use a wrench to fully tighten the nut once it's all the way down. Repeat this assembly on all four corners. Let's begin to press flowers. Gather assorted flowers from the yard. I use knockout roses, catmint flowers, and comfrey flowers. Be sure to choose flowers that are not too thick. Begin to fill the press by layering a piece of cardboard, then two sheets of paper, followed by the flowers. Next, add two sheets of paper and a piece of cardboard. Repeat these layers until the press is full or when there are no more flowers. Be sure to allow space between the flowers in the press. You can also experiment by placing flowers face down or placing them in a profile position. Place the top panel over the carriage bolts and slide it all the way down. Now add the hardware, first the washers, then the wing nuts. Hand tighten the wing nuts until they are snug.
check on the flowers after a couple of days. To remove the panel, undo the wing nuts and slide the top panel off. Gently remove the layers of paper and cardboard to reveal the flowers. They may still have moisture in them and so will be very delicate. If they are still moist, change out the paper and place the flowers back into the press for another couple of days.